Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second lesson in the Chance to Shine live series. Thank you all for taking part last week. We absolutely loved seeing all of the images and videos of you having fun and challenging yourselves at home and at school. Today's lesson. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second we'll lesson getting in the Chance to Shine live series. Our skills once Thank again you all short. for taking part last week. We absolutely loved seeing Say, all of the images and videos back of you to our coaches, Joe and Rehan who will be supporting you through today's lesson, which is Cool Capture. We have one new feature to tell you about for this lesson, and this is our School of the Week. We were so impressed last week with all of the videos, the photos, everything that was shared on our social media afterwards that we wanted to find a way to celebrate this. So today we are joined by Delamere Primary Academy from Cheshire. We had a lot of fun seeing their videos of everyone challenging themselves to beat their personal best during head, shoulders, knees catch. It was great. And also have to say a big well done to Owen Williamson from Cheshire Cricket Board, who's their chance to shine coach. Cheers, Owen. So Team Delamere Primary Academy, give us a big wave. So they're going to be on the screen today during the activities. You'll get them to get to the see them taking part. Great. And also have to say a so, big well done if to you're Owen watching Williamson from Cheshire on our YouTube Cricket. channel. Let us know what school you're from in the chat bar and we'll try and give as many of you as possible a shout out as the lesson goes on. So into the lesson, today's learning objective. <clears throat> Number one, we're going to explore different throwing and catching techniques and tracking the ball in flight. And number two, we're going to explore different movement options to create your own catching routine. We've got three activities once again. These are called star skills, rebound catch, and our final star challenge, which is called Strictly Come Catching. You're going to need a little bit of safe space around you, so please do check with the adults at home or the teachers at school about your space. You'll need something to act as a ball, like last week. Choose what you feel is appropriate. I've got softball, I've got my rolled up socks, tennis ball. I've even got this rugby ball, little foam rugby ball, that's going to add a bit of extra challenge for my catching. So that's something to act as your ball. And finally, you'll need a wall or something safe to rebound that ball off. And Joe will explain that later on rebound catch. If you've got someone else in your house who you can work with, we encourage you to partner up during this lesson. And the coaches will explain more about what that means as we go along. Remember, go at your own pace. If you need to take a break, please do. And keep a drink to hand if you need it. Right, we're going to get active. Make sure you've got your ball ready and at hand because Rehan is going to get straight into action with us with Star Skills. <laughs> Rehan, over to you. Thank you, Ian. So the first, the, the first activity that we are going to do is going to be clap catches. So it's straightforward. What I want us to do is throw the ball in the air, clap, and then catch the ball. So throw the ball in the air, clap our hands, and catch the ball. So before we do that, I just want you to make sure that you have enough space, safe space around you. If you are working with others alongside you, just make sure that you're not too close together. Right, so just one more time. We're going to throw the ball in the air, clap, and catch the ball. Right, so we're going to give you two minutes, and off you go. Brilliant. So, guys, we're going to give a few mentions as we're going along from last week. So, it was lovely to see not only the schools who joined us live, but a number of schools who then took, took the time to watch those lessons back and give us some uh, great examples of what they did. Special mention as well, we asked a question, Joe asked a question last week during the bowling section about why do we bowl six balls? So, Martha Harris, you answered that question and explained six balls is what is an over in cricket so there's a lovely little bit of learning for us six balls are in an over in cricket also another big one we've just seen this on our social media it's absolutely fantastic Bletchingdon Primary School in Oxfordshire have had a shout out a video message from England fast bowler Mark Wood so that was lovely oh. to see brilliant from the school that that's amazing so Mark Wood Rehan how fast does Mark Wood bowl Oh, I think he bowled 90 miles an hour. I think he's at least, yeah. I think he's still in bowl 96. That's pretty quick, isn't it? So brilliant yeah, that, bowlers, a couple of amazing. weeks' time. 
<laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wouldn't want to face well, what a great miles message. an hour. So remember, guys, keep sending us your messages in. We'll we'll give you shout outs as we go along. All right, so keep going, guys. So don't worry if you don't catch the ball. Just start again. It, it, even if we do drop it, it's absolutely fine. Just carry on going and you see how many claps we can get. Well, that was three. Oh, that was four. Oh, three again. All right. Not long left. Keep going. Oh, I got five there. Oh, five again. Right, okay, and that time. Right, so I managed to get five claps before I could catch the ball. It's quite difficult, quite challenging. I'm sure some of you would have beaten that. So, Ian, Joe, do you think there are any tips we can give in that, in that activity that we can help them uh, do more claps with their catches? So, Ria, yeah, I'm, I'm remembering back to last week. So, some of the st great stuff that Joe told us about with our catching is to watch that ball really carefully into our hands. So, that would be my tip. We've got some really good keys to success, haven't we? So, my tip is yeah. the first one there. Watch the ball all the way into your hands. Brilliant. How about you, Joe? Any tips from you? Yeah, I might make it easier. So, I might use a balloon or a football, something bigger to catch. So a balloon goes a little bit slower, so it makes it easier to catch, or a bigger target, like a bigger football, or a beach ball, or whatever you've got at home. But something bigger hopefully makes it easier to catch. That, that's a great tip. So one tip from me would be, so depending on how much space you have, is if we can throw the ball a little bit higher, it will give us more time to catch the ball. So not too high, so we can't catch the ball, just high enough so we can get more claps. And hopefully you can get a great personal best and you keep practicing and you can see if you can try and beat your score next time. Right, so that was the first part. So the second part we are going to do catching is what we did last week, head, shoulders, and head, shoulders, cat, knees and cat, sorry, yeah, head, shoulders, knees and cat. So if you remember last week, we did head, shoulders, knees and then we catch the ball so that was quite difficult for me to do because I had very limited space so what I did was I allowed the ball to bounce before I caught it so head shoulders knees catch if you can try and do head shoulders knees and then catch the ball without it bouncing which can be difficult now if you didn't take part in last week's session that's absolutely fine what I want you to do is I'm going to give you another two minutes and I'm going to see how many catches you can do by doing head, shoulders, knees and catch. So create a personal score for yourself and see if you can try and beat that. So you've got two minutes. So as Ian mentioned, so watch the ball. Watch the ball into your hands. And also one other tip, one other key to success would be to have your hand open like a book, ready to catch the ball and watch the ball that comes into your hand. So like that. Right, so one more time. So you've got two minutes, head, shoulders, knees, catch. And let's see if you can beat your personal best. And if you didn't do it last week, can you please try and create a personal best? Right, two more minutes, off you go. Lovely stuff. So, Joe, Rehan, we, we obviously had a chance to practice this activity last week. So, this will be yeah. familiar with a few. What, what, is your, what is your next tip? What, what do you think you could do to, to beat your personal best? Got any advice? Me, Ian? Um, yeah, Rehan so first. Can... Rehan first. Go for it, Rehan. Yeah, so, so one of my tips would be to... Um, try and throw the ball a little bit higher, as I mentioned in the catching drill before. Try and throw the ball a little bit higher so you've got time to catch the ball. Also, if you remember from last week's session, we also tried to add another body part movement in. So instead of knees, maybe you can just touch your chest. So, head, shoulders, catch. Head, shoulders, knees, chest, and catch. 
So you can try and do some other body parts that might be quicker for you to touch the ball. So it doesn't have to be knee, but it can be. Yeah, right, so the Joe? challenge is how many body parts can you get? Brilliant. Like yeah. that, Joe, your tips? I think I'm going to steal yours from last week, Ian. For me, it's getting low. So when you throw the ball in the air, getting low as I can before I take that catch it gives me more time and more space just to make it that bit easier. So nice high catch and then bend my knees as far as I can go. Maybe even try a little squat just before I take my catch. Love that, Joe. And, and in a game of cricket, you might get a big high catch that comes and you have to dive and reach forward for it, that you have to be low to the ground. So it's really good to practice those different skills. So yes, it adds a bit more time in this challenge, but actually it's really realistic and good to practice those skills anyway. Yeah, that's it. All right, not long left, last few seconds. Telling me looking great there on our screen. Wow, yes. Yeah, some Lots brilliant challenges going on. Some brilliant Everyone doing on. it their own way. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, brilliant. Well done, everyone. Seen some really good catches going on there from Delamere Academy as well. That's fantastic. So hopefully you managed to beat your personal best. But if you didn't, that's absolutely fine. We'll just keep trying and we can see if you can beat our personal best next time. If you did it for the first time, hopefully you managed to create a score I create a personal best, which you have got to beat for the next time you do the actual session. So that's brilliant. So remember your scores for yourselves. Remember, you're only trying to beat your own personal score. So well done, everyone. Right. So the last part of the session, we're going to do some movement catches. So what is going to happen now is I'm going to throw the ball up and I'm going to try and move and catch the ball. So I'm going to throw the ball up. I'm going to move and catch the ball. Throw the ball up. I'm going to move and catch the ball. Just be careful when you are moving, you're not too close to people next to you, so just be safe, right? So, then move and try and catch the ball. So we can go one way, we can go the other way, but we don't want to be moving too much, just moving enough so we can catch the ball. What I also want you to do is to get a bit creative as well. I want you to think a little bit outside the box, use your imagination and see what other movements we can add. So one of the movements that I was thinking of was, so around, my body, so around my waist, trying to catch the ball. And then you might have seen this as well. So under, catch the ball, under, catch the ball. Try and be as creative as you want to use your imagination. Right, so I'm gonna give you two minutes, movement catches, try and be as much creative as you want. And let's see how many catches you can get in those two minutes. Right, off you go. Lovely stuff, Ray, and I love that one between the legs. I'm glad that your early a bit warmed me up for this because this is stretching yeah. my old legs here. Absolutely, so moving yeah. around and throwing it up. Yeah. Ray, and I'm going to add a little bit in as well. I'm going to add the clap catches in that you did earlier. So I'm going to move it around. I'm going to do it and get my clap catches involved too. Mix both That's together. Brilliant. That's great, that Ian. That's very difficult as well. Perfect. How about you, Joe? Anything from you? Oh my goodness, I'm practicing here. It's hard to think. <laughs> I was going to go a nice and wide stunt and go through like a basketballer. Okay, so you sort of lift the ball on my pair of socks that I've got and you're sort of throwing it between your legs, if you can. Wow, oh. <laughs> wow that's brilliant. Right, guys, so while well, we're going, we've got a few shout outs to do for some schools. And these are schools that took part in last week's session as well. So we've got East Rudham School, Otterbourne. Hill of Bantry, St Nicholas, Springfield, Austria, St Beads, Little Green, Truro School, all took part, sent us messages after last week's session. And guys, thanks for some lovely feedback in there from some of you too. So hope you're with us today and enjoying it. We'll carry on with the shout outs in the next part of the session. We've got a few coming in, which is lovely to see you all taking part. That's brilliant. Right, keep going, everyone. Done, gentlemen. I'm warm. Yeah, getting, getting warm now. Yeah, hopefully a lot of us are warm. <laughs> so keep going. Try and be as creative as you want. And Rehan, I've got another one. I thought, this difficult. Throw it over your shoulder and then turn around to catch it. Oh, I like that. Wow. So we throw have it over to watch it very closely. Over the shoulder <laughs> and then... Oh, it bounced wow. off the ceiling as well. Look at that. <laughs> wow, Delamere did some fantastic creativity there. Oh, that's they're brilliant. rolling it down. Oh, I like that. Roll it oh, down. Oh, I love that. that. That's, that's amazing. Well done. Right, keep going. Last few seconds. Ah. 
And that's time. Fantastic. Well done, everyone. Well, so feeling quite warm now. So hopefully that's got us all warmed up. And we've done some, we've managed to do some really good catching. So as we mentioned at the beginning, so we've got two keys to success with catching. Watch the ball and also keep your hands open uh, like a book to create a big catching area. So if you can remember that when catching the ball, hopefully we'll manage to beat our personal best scores next time. Well done, everyone. I'm just going to pass you back to Ian now. Thank you, Ian. Brehan, that was brilliant. And look, within a short space of time, three brilliant activities to challenge ourselves there. Remember those two keys to success because we're going to hand over to Joe very shortly on the rebound catch and she's going to build even further on those keys. So remember them, they were watch the ball closely and have a nice big surface area like an open book to take that catch. Right, Joe, rebound catches, over to you. Excellent. Thanks, Ian. Thanks, Rehan. That's a hard act to follow, and I'm really warm already. OK, we're going to try rebound catch. So just as I said, or as Ian said before, you might use a range of equipment. So I've raided my sock drawer, so you could use your socks. You might use your tennis ball if you're looking at someone at school. Like I said, the football or the balloon as well, bigger targets. But even if you want to challenge yourself for those avid cricketers amongst you, you might try a ping pong ball. So you might try a ping pong ball or even something awkward to catch. I think Ian mentioned his rugby ball or I've got a bale as well there. So we might try different catches that might make us move in different places. In this practice as well, I want you to maybe consider working with a partner. So you might use a friend in your class or a family member or a brother or a sister, a gran, anybody who's part in your household bubble there. So depending on the space you have, find yourself a rebound area. So today, unfortunately, I'm on my own, so I'm going to use my wall. But I could use the ceiling. I could use the side, but make sure you get permission. If you've got a partner, even better, OK, because then you can practice passing that ball just like you would in a cricket match. OK. Before we do anything then, I want you to go away, find your partner, find your wall that you've got permission to bounce your ball off. And we're going to have two minutes just practicing hitting that target. So, for example, if I'm using my wall, again, just a rebound catch. So aiming for the wall, trying to catch the ball. Just like Rehan says before, if you drop it, it doesn't matter. If you go too high, it doesn't matter. We'll work on that during the session. So, guys, you're going to have two minutes. Find your space or your socks or your ball, okay? See where you can rebound, go, go, go. So I'm following yours there, Joe, I'm rebounding off the roof. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's harder than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying with my socks, oh. Right, guys, so we're going to do a few more shout outs. It's lovely to hear actually some schools who were with us last week who are joining the session once again. So we've got Audley Junior School, Preston Primary, Bryan Primary, Crondall School, Perripon School, Sharma, Roman B, Mottram, who were with us last week. We've got Hayes Lane, who were with us last week as well. Thank you guys for coming back. St Thomas in Blackburn, the Henry family taking part together in Tarpoli. Vale Academy and Lingbog, who were also with us last week as well. There's some brilliant stuff. So just to let us know as well, Delamere Primary, they're working in a bubble together. So that's why they're working as pairs in their school as well. Remember, work with someone if you can in your house and you can give them some feedback as you go as well. So use those keys to success. Little shout out, Gregor, to uh, Matram. I think I was believed to be in there doing Chancellor Sound sessions uh, if we'd been in school. So, hi, Matram. Hopefully, see you in the spring and summer term as well. Well, Joe, that's just lovely because it just shows that even though you can't actually be in the school with them, we can still have you coaching them. Who'd have thought that that would have ever been possible, eh? Yeah, that's it's brilliant. great, isn't it? Last few seconds, guys, you're doing really well. How many catches have you got off that rebound, whether it's a partner, a wall, a ceiling? Okay. We're going to go through our keys to success in just a minute. Excellent there, guys. Well done. That's really, really good. Hopefully you found your partner to work with or your space that you're ready for the next two practice bits we're going to go for in rebound catch. So keys to success. We're going to break it down into two. 
and I'm going to be a thief. I'm going to steal Rehan's first key to success. So exactly the same. The most important part is to watch that ball all the way into your hands, even if it means not blinking. Yeah, watch that ball all the way into your hands because in cricket, catches with matches. Okay, all the way into your hands. Second key to success would be to throw the ball at a height and speed that is comfortable for you to catch. So if you're throwing at a partner, you might aim for their belly button or their chest. If you're throwing at a wall, you might aim just above head height, just so it's nice and easy. Okay, so think about those two things. One, watch the ball all the way into your hands. Two, think about the height and the speed. If I throw it like that hard as I can, I'm not gonna be able to catch it as easy. So nice underarm throw, gentle speed. If you get faster, okay, you might get a bit quicker. It is up to you, but we're gonna bring in Rehan and Ian in a minute just to see how you get on. Okay, so remember, it might go higher if you want it easier, lower, you might go closer for faster catches. It is up to you to go and practice your rebound area and see how many catches you can take. Okay, guys, two minutes. You ready? Go see how many you can get. I think, Joe, one thing to make it harder from me would be Excellent. do one catch right on with one hand and then one catch with another hand. So, oh, I like that. One. So I've cut my right and switched <laughs> to my left. Right. I like that, Rehan. You have to watch that very, very closely, as right. I've just found out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the same. Absolutely. I dropped my first one. That's a yeah, great one, Rehan. Ian, what about making it easier? How would you make it easier, Ian? Um, so I've actually thought, well, actually, how can I give myself a little bit more time? And also, will it always be a catch when we play in a game? So what I thought is, rather than doing it on the full, so before it bounces, to give myself a bit of a step away from the wall, which I'm rebounding off, letting it bounce and watching it all the way in. Okay, so I'm getting used to the movement first. And then when I build it up, I feel a bit more confident. I'll come a bit closer and I'll get into those catches. So letting that ball bounce just to get used to it and watching it closely in. So that'd be my little make it easier tip, Joe. That's great. Thank you. And that's a really good one for our second key to success, thinking about the height and the speed of the ball. Because you don't want to go in too fast until we get warmed up. And then we might get a bit faster as we go. I like that, Ian. Really, really good. Come on, guys. How's everyone's personal best so far? Because it's going to be challenge time in a minute. We've got a few more Hi, schools coming in. So Sutton on the Forest, Jarman's Cross, East Coca Primary, Barnborough Primary were with us last week. We've got Lanesfield, Darleydale and Oakwood. So just lovely to see so many of you taking part from all across the country here. Fantastic. That's a couple of seconds, guys. Doing really well. I've gone down to my ping pong ball to make it a bit harder. Oh, that's, really, that's, that's really difficult, that one, Joe. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> oh, waking the brain up. A couple of seconds left, guys. Really well done. Really, really good. Excellent, guys. Well done. That's a really, really good effort. And whether you've used a wall or a partner, hopefully you've challenged yourself, okay, to get your personal best, those good catches. But just as Gregor says, Ian says, we've just got that same element of trying your best. It doesn't matter if you drop the ball, pick it back up, have another go. Sometimes when we're fielding in cricket, you'll have to change direction quickly. And obviously, you might have to let the ball bounce once before you take it. It's really, really good. Okay, last challenge. Okay, we're going to make sure that everybody has a little go. And we're going to break it into bronze, silver, and gold awards. Okay, so we're going to see, okay, how many rebound catches we can do. And I'm going to use Rehan's idea, okay, to help us with the scoring. So if you take a catch, okay, so in two minutes, if you take a catch using two hands, so like the shape of my book, my big wide base, I'm going to give you one point, sorry, one point, okay? Okay, if... You take a catch using one hand, I'm gonna give you two points, all right? So that would be the equivalent of a silver award, all right? So we've got our bronze, which is our two hands, one point catch. We've got our silver, which is one hand, and I'm gonna give three points to our gold award, just what every hand was doing before. If you throw with one hand and catch with the other. So I'm gonna throw with my right, catch with my left, throw with my left, catch with my right. 
because in cricket we play on a big round field so sometimes you have to go right sometimes you have to go left you need to practice both elements so we're gonna have two minutes to see how many points you can get you choose your level remember two points sorry one point if it's two hands two points if it's one hand and three points if you go one to the other right left right left right left are we ready guys your two minutes to get as many points as you can go 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 lovely love that joe so i like the fact we can all set our challenges and are we all right to change our levels as we go through if we want to please do yeah definitely yeah you might warm up with a bronze so you might warm up with your two hands and work your way up to hold i like that brilliant i like that so if you feel you're getting comfortable you can take that risk and you can go for that extra level of challenge do you know what will be great as well? We think we could even add, or you guys can add a platinum level to this as well. So if you think of one that can be even harder than what we've already done, add that in. You can score four points every time you do that one. So think outside of the box, add that challenge in. So I've got a platinum one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, go on then, Rehan. I think this, this will be my platinum. So one hand behind my back, pull the ball and cut. Oh. And cut. Okay, right? So that that's my right hand, so I'm strong with my right hand. So I'm not as strong with my left hand. So see if you can catch it with this one. And Rehan, you're rebounding it off the ceiling there, aren't you? That's right, yeah, I'm rebounding it off the ceiling. So it gives us a nice variation, that one. So some high catches and some lower catches that we can mix in as we're going along. Yeah. Ian, have you got your rugby ball there as well? Because I believe that's another oh, yes. one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep my two hands with the rugby ball because I know this is going to challenge me. It could go anywhere. That's excellent. All the asses were trying. Oh, my word. Tell you what, though, I know. I, I, I'm, I'm glad you both said watch the ball carefully because with this, it's so unpredictable. I have to watch it. Have to watch yeah. it. Okay, so, key to success number one watch that all oh. into your hands. Like you say, it doesn't matter what shape it is. And the second one. Okay, is you've got to think about that speed and that height at which you throw it to make it harder. Last few seconds, guys, going really well. Tell so you what, rugby ball off the ceiling, that is a new one altogether. That is difficult. <laughs> oh, wow. I was trying with the cricket bail, that's what I was trying with. <laughs> it's hard when I try to do those. It, it's good practice, though. It's a good life skill. Whether you're catching your phone, even, or something that's precious to you, like we said last week, it's something good that we can do together. But yeah. it's really important in cricket. It's really important. There's lots of good cricketers about there, isn't there? You need to do some catching. Go on, Ian, back to you. So, funny you mentioned that, Joe, about lots of good cricketers around catching wise. We just want to have a little bit of a moment to have a bit of a break because that was hard work. It was for me, anyway. I know you, you guys were, and hopefully we're all working yeah. hard as well. So cool catches, okay? We call say cool catch. You already heard the phrase catches win matches. Important in cricket. So Rehan, your favourite fielder of all time and why, please? My favourite fielder has to be John T. Rhodes from the South African national team. He's obviously retired now. He does a lot of coaching, but growing up in the nineties and and early two uh, thousands, um, he was phenomenal. I mean, he was so quick through the air. He caught so many amazing one-handed catches. He was like Superman through the air. But not just that. I mean, to the, just how quick he was when the ball was hit towards him, how quick he was with moving and catching and picking up the ball and throwing the ball at the wicket for a direct tip. It was unbelievable how many times he did that in matches. And he won so many matches on his catches and fielding alone by a lot of direct hits, it was amazing. The amount of time he has to pick the ball up and throw it is literally seconds. And he does it so well, and he has run so many people out throughout his career. So that would be my uh, fielder. Rehan, I love that. I, I, like yourself, I remember, he was probably the first superstar fielder that I can remember, John T. Rose. There was a video yeah. I can remember my uncle showing me from the 1992 World Cup where he sprinted in and he ran and he dived and he took all three of the oh, stumps out at the same yeah. time. That was magic. I remember that. And you know what yeah. I love? The way you spoke about it then, fielding is, re is a really exciting, important part of the game. And, and yeah. someone like John T. Rhodes brought that to life. So brilliant example there. 
Joe, what about yourself? Who would be your favourite cool catcher or ferocious fielder be? Oh, so many choices, but I think we've got to shout out to our wicket keepers. Our wicket keepers that take stumpings, that take catches. When the ball comes up, the bat will change his direction. So Sarah Taylor, obviously one of the most famous female uh, England cricketers um, for her wicket keeping. And um, Amy Jones has done a great job. There's so many. And, and I'm rubbish with names, but even watching YouTube clips of IPL players or, oh, you know, T20 competitions, there are some great examples of fielding, fielding across, even, even at local. You know, I could shout out to some of my teammates at Chester Bolton Hall when you're screaming and taking that, like say, that dive to stop that four or six. So loads of opportunities. Yeah, I love what you say there, YouTube clips. Obviously, we're on YouTube now, so those watching us, you can explore YouTube further and look at some like some of the best cricket catches ever. Okay, great things to look at, aren't they? So if there's anything, a little bit of homework. So some really fun homework from today's session. So for the teachers on board with us, why not research those? And Rehan was almost poetic, wasn't he, as he described those fielding experiences. Joe, you mentioned wicket keepers. In your rebound catch session, you talked about throwing the ball to waist height. Why, why might that be important for a wicket keeper? For me, it's about actually in balance so they can change direction really quickly. It's that waist height element when their gloves are nice and wide, their hands are nice and wide, ready to take that catch. But nice waist height ball is often where that ball might pitch after the ball has bounced it. There's loads of reasons. What about you, Ian? What do you think? Lovely. And I think that that waist height is just above the top of the stump. So remember last week you had your bins as your stump target. Set stumps in cricket. You take the ball and go back to them. We can get our run out. So wicket keepers love that ball coming in right at the top of the stumps. Really important there. And speaking of wicket keepers, I, I have to shout out to my favourite of all time, Jack Russell, England legend, absolute hero. Rehan, I'm, I'm sure you'll, you'll agree with me there. What a wicket keeper he was. What a keeper, okay. yeah. What a keeper. For me, but, I mean, even the what... coolest catcher of all time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even the examples that um, Joel gave Sarah, Sarah Taylor, I mean, she was phenomenal behind the stumps. I mean, any, any ball down sort of behind the batter's leg, she was just so quick with her hands. I mean, it's just amazing. I keep watching them, them run outs all the time, them stumpings that she does. It's, it's brilliant. Lovely stuff. Right, so some cool catches there for us to think about, guys. Right, we're going to go on now to our final section, the Star Challenge, and it's an activity called Strictly Come Catching. So Joe's going to lead this, but we're all going to get involved as we go along. So Joe, Strictly Come Catching, over to you. Excellent. Thank you, Ian. Well, I'm glad we had time to talk about our role models and our favourite catchers because it's given me time to cool down and become a cool catcher again, hopefully. So please, please have a go at this session. This one is about having fun. It's about challenging yourself. And trust me, you're going to see me challenge myself because those who watch the TV and thought where this strictly come catching might be from, it's going to be a few dance moves. So I have no <laughs> rhythm. So be kind. <laughs> Sometimes in cricket, we've already said that you might have to change direction really quickly. So these dance moves are to sort of prepare us for the unexpected, thinking about, well, actually, we might be taking a ball or thinking the ball's going to go to the right and it might go to the left. So our dance moves might make us quickly change direction. So you are going to get two minutes just to do your own dance. All right. So I might do something as simple or as, you know, as cheesy as the floss. So I haven't even got the ball in my hand yet. I might just do a little practice. Okay, so do a little practice. I might see how fast I can go. Okay, see how fast I'm flossing. Okay, then you might bring in the ball to have a go. So I might think about that dance move. So again, start that floss. Oh, I might let it bounce and then see if I can take that catch. Doesn't matter if you use one hand or two hands. It's about the dance move, getting that heart rate up getting that change of direction. So my first task was trying to floss, but you guys can do any dance move you like. We're gonna have three to try. <laughs> so again, nice, clear, have a go. Doesn't matter on how things, uh, how we catch it. Think about the keys to success you've learned. Your two minutes, guys, you're flossing. Go, go, go. Lovely. Lovely. Can't wait to see what the guys at Delamere Academy are gonna practice here. I'm <laughs> sure everyone's gonna do some brilliant dance moves for us. Yeah. Rehan, you showed me your moonwalking yesterday for your strictly come catching. I can't wait to see that one as well. I did, yes. Yeah. Yes, I will give that a go now. Hopefully it will work. Oh. So, Joe, you used one bounce then. Why, why did you decide to go with one bounce this time round? 
Yeah, so I decided to use one bounce for the first time around just so I can actually get fast enough to dance. But I'm sure the use of the monkey stuff will be able to do a bit faster. But that one bounce just gives us that bit of time to take that catch nice and comfortably. If people want, they can go too. There's some lovely stuff going on at Delamere. I can see some yeah. fantastic. There's people flying around all over the place. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm glad you demoed the floss, Joe, because there's no yeah. way I'm ever going to be able to do that one. Ne oh, Neither my goodness. Neither oh, look I. at that. Some pirouettes, some spins on one leg. That is lovely. Wow. I am zooming in here. That's great. A few seconds left as well, guys. That's really yeah. good. Wow. So I'm going to do a, right. uh, an older one as well. So the, the four combo dab. So it's one of them. And catch the ball. So, Rian, you take your oh. eyes off it. You take your oh. eyes off the ball. You go, where's it going to oh. go? See, I made a mistake. I didn't <laughs> keep my eyes on the ball. So, I'll still try and do the dab, but I've got to keep my eyes on the ball. Lovely. I'm going to go for another classic one, the Mobot. <laughs> oh, Mobot. Oh, That's Mobot. not too hard, actually. I've still got to watch it, though, <laughs> like that. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Really good dance moves. The, the dab has actually given me a chance to dab the sweat as well, Rehan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Woo>! yeah. <laughs> Excellent, guys. You're doing really well. And it was great to see everyone at Delamere having such a good time with it and being creative. That's what it's about. So we're yeah, going to bring yeah. in our key to success again. So we're going to have another couple of challenges just to get going. So we can think about as we change those directions, it doesn't matter, okay, what direction we're going. Just like Ian and Rehan said, the only important thing we've got to be watching is that ball, whether it's your socks or your balloon or your tennis ball or your cricket ball or your ping pong ball, it doesn't matter, but really, really watch that ball straight into your hands. So that's key to success, number one. Watch the ball all the way into your hands. So like I did, little floss, little bounce, hands, Straight into the ball. Second key to success is almost, if possible, create that base. So my flossing cheats a little bit. So I want to get ready to, in a steady base to take that catch. So my floss, my feet are slightly apart, my knees are slightly bent already. Okay, so I'm ready in that base to take that catch. And it doesn't matter if it bounces one of them once or twice, but I've got my base ready to take that catch when we go. Okay, so there are a sort of idea of our keys to success, which are really important. Watch that ball the way to hand and that steady bit. Now we might try something that I was practicing via YouTube this morning, was something maybe you might have heard of from Fortnite. And it's that lovely orange justice dance where we might try, but I might need to allow the ball to bounce definitely twice for that one. So if I bounce up, we'll go down and up. <laughs> See if you can practice a bit more than me. All right, so we'll give you two minutes to see if you can have a go. I missed out the clap, but see if you know the dance better than I do. <laughs> Guys, you have two minutes. And um, actually, before we go to the two minutes, Ian and uh, Rihan, it's time for to see your dances, I think. Uh, Rihan, you go first. What other dance moves could we do? So, I mean, obviously I did try the moonwalk, but you can't really see my feet, so I don't think that's gonna work. I mean, the only thing, the only other thing I can think of is it's difficult, but I'm going to have to let it bounce once, is just do the disappearing catch. So I'm going to throw the ball in the air. I'm going to disappear. I'm going to let it bounce. And then I'm going to come back and catch the ball. That, that's, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm trying to be a little bit creative. And then I'm going to try and do that. So I'm going to throw the ball in the air. Rehab magician. <laughs> two bounces. It was not one bounce. It was two bounces. So that that's was mine. That's really good. <laughs> I love the trick. I think that would be good for a TikTok catching challenge, wouldn't it? The disappear and come back. I've gone yeah. really old school. I've gone Saturday night fever, a bit of throw it up, a bit of disco dancing, get it in the hand, a bit of dad dancing there. Nothing wrong with that, Joe. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, guys. Right, guys, let's go back to you guys all over the country. Please, please say you can do better than us, but give a round of applause to Rehan and Ian for giving it the role. Your two so, minutes. Joe, we just got one minute. One minute to go on one this minute. one. One minute. One minute. Go, go, yeah, go. one minute. As many as you can. I'm going to try yours, yo. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. Try and do a spin, I think, this time. Let's try. 
So Ian was mentioning Delaware were doing some pirouettes. I mean, I, I, with the space I've got, I think that'd be quite difficult. But I don't think I've right, managed to do Final shout outs we've got Riverview, Highfield, Sheldwich Primary, and also lovely some scores that we've had in as well. So Susanna Stewart, 105 in the rebound catch, Roof Bank over wow. 66. Wow. Hassan, oh, 31, beautiful. so good personal best. So some lovely stuff going on, guys. Right, oh, we are coming great. to a close. We're getting towards the end. So keep trying, keep creating. Remember, you can practice after this session as well. So keep creating your routine. Let's see how you get on. Last few seconds there, guys. Excellent, well done. Just admiring Delamere's much more uh, clinical dance moves <laughs> than mine. <laughs> Guys, that's been really good fun. Um, Ian, quick question. Have I got time for one more challenge or is that me done? Oh, that is it, Joe. The time has flown, unfortunately. Oh, I'm clearly having too much fun. Thanks, Ian. Thank you. Brilliant stuff. So just as a recap, we've had a few keys to success, haven't we? So throughout it all today, watch that ball all the way into your hands. That's important. Think about that big open book. OK, so hands together, big open book, which Rehan said earlier. Think about that catching height, so making it comfortable when it comes off the wall. And Joe, that, that last one you said about a stable position to catch from, that is so important. Even if you're on the move, try and get stable. So all that's left to say, guys, is a massive thank you once again. We hope you've had a lot of fun. Thanks for taking part and sending in your messages. Next week lesson, we're going to be moving on to a bit of batting. So we've got our super striker session. Okay, so those frying pans, those bats back out again yeah. for next week's lesson. Remember, keep practicing at home, as we've said, at school or in the back garden, whatever space you've got. Um, this lesson, as last week, will be available to watch back via our YouTube channel. We'll go to chance to shine.org forward slash live. And remember to visit our website. We've got more free resources available for you to keep supporting the cricket lessons as we go on. Big thank you once again to our coaches. So, Joe, big last wave from you. Rehan, away from you too. Thank you, guys. And we have thank to you, say everyone. a massive thank you and a well done to all the guys, our School of the Week at Delamere Primary Academy. Loved seeing you take part. Thank you all. If you want to be in the running for School of the Week next week, we want you to share your videos with us. We want to see you challenging yourselves, having fun, coming up with your creative Strictly Come Catching routines. OK, so remember on our Chance to Shine Twitter, at Chance to Shine, share those videos and those photos. We'd love to see that. And of course, do send in any feedback as we go along. We loved hearing from you last week and hopefully we've added a, added a new bit, few bits and pieces as we go along to make it more helpful for you. So next week, join us again. Same time, same place, Super Striker. And we may even have a special guest appearance from someone next week as well, helping us with some batting tips. So please join us again next week. Thank you. Take care and stay safe. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone.